Yo, what's good with y'all boys? It's very Stinky Bar Jordan, aka Vixen, back with another video, man. Today, we got another guide. So this is a highly requested video by you guys, and you guys always see that I'm using Valor throughout my live cops, through my streams. Even when I mention other bots, I always have to mention Valor. Honestly, it's such a good bot, and it's one of my favorites right now, and I thought I should share my setup with you guys. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my one-to-one -one setup. Everything from my Gmails, to my capture harvesters, to my proxies, my task, how many tasks I use, my PC specs, everything you could possibly think of is gonna be in this video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about is my computer and my server specs. So on my local PC for the processor, it has an Intel i7-8700K. And for my RAM, I have four eight gigabyte sticks. And then on my server, I have a 16 by 16 machine. Right here, you can see my processor and it has 16 virtual processors. Just something to keep in mind throughout this video, even though I have these specs, a lot of my resources are going towards me recording and me streaming. When you guys see my live cops or my streams, I'm always running two programs, one for recording and then one for streaming, and then my audio program in the background. So a lot of my resources are being allocated to those three things also. I'm sure if I wasn't doing all that during a drop, my specs and my setup would be a lot better, but for the sake of content, that's just something I have to risk. First thing we're gonna start off is what our Gmails. As you may know, your Gmails are the most important part for you passing through the splash page. If you have bad Gmails, most likely you'll never get to the splash page until it's out of stock. So you wanna make sure that you have the best Gmails possible. For my setup, what I tend to do is I have some Gmails that I created back in 2014. 2015 and I've been farming them ever since if you don't have gmails all the way from back then use some of your gmails that you have now and also some of your friends and family's gmails even though they don't sneaker bot or anything most likely they have a 0.9 score which is the highest v3 score you can get and that's just due to them being active on Google if you don't have any friends or family gmail accounts that you can use you could always buy some gmails apparently older gmails seem to do better if you can find any gmails from 2019 and down that should be good enough like I said about my gmails I have been farming them for a while two to three days before every year supply drop I start AYCD and I just let it run just so I can get my score as high as possible in those gmails warmed so now let's move on to our capture harvesters our capture harvesters is obviously where Google is gonna have to pull our score from in order for us to get past the splash page so I have a few capture harvesters but I'm not using all of these for every single drop on Valor no matter if it's used supply or foot sites or JD I always end up running one to two solvers most likely I'm always running two solvers now you don't need to do that but I've been doing it for months and I kind of don't want to change my setup because it's been working but it's not a necessity so of course in our capture harvesters it's obviously gonna need to say solver type and it's gonna be easy supply if you don't have it on use supply it won't be able to get your captures for your task and it'll come up with this task status saying waiting for capture now for my capture solver proxy you actually don't need a proxy in here unless you farm with a proxy or somehow those proxies make your score go up for the most part I've been running on local especially for my local PC like I said all these are my personal Gmails and I always use these on my IP anyways so it's no difference recently I've been noticing some people using AYCD I don't use AYCD for Valor mostly because it's, I don't know if it's fully supported yet and honestly you don't even need that many Gmails you're better off just running the local solvers and before we move off our capture harvesters I just want to show you this right here so when I was screaming for the easy slide drop I kept running into this issue where it said waiting for capture and my capture harvester was blank originally what I was doing in the past was kind of closing the bot out entirely which was a really dumb move all you had to do is click at the bottom right this red button and it will refresh your capture harvesters and now it's able to get captures throughout the drop just check this every now and then make sure that your capture harvesters are still good they should be saying waiting to solve and also your task status should say something like in queue or the product name if it's getting to the cart so just have your eye on that next thing we're gonna be talking about our proxies so recently I've been using multiple different providers my favorite proxies right now are live residential proxies leaf ISPs and nocturnal ISPs and I always tend to run resi proxies and ISPs for every single drop mostly because you don't know how it's gonna perform on some of the drops in the past resi proxies didn't work at all but every ISP provider ended up working so just to stay ahead of the game you always want to use both of them and always use multiple providers and if you are thinking about buying resi proxies don't buy super expensive resi proxies i found out that a lot of cheaper ones actually do end up working the best so i'm not going to recommend you guys any providers mostly because what works with my setup might not work with yours and i think it's just best to play around with different providers and figure out what is best for your setup if you are going to run isps make sure that you have a one test to one proxy ratio same with residential proxies but i tend to double up with residential proxies because sometimes not all the proxies that you generate are going to be live so you need the extra ones to rotate out so now that we're done with our proxies let's talk about our profiles for my profiles i've been using privacy cards if you don't know what privacy is there will be a link in the description you can check that out but just to sum it up the virtual credit cards linked to one payment source the main reason for me using this is privacy doesn't have 3ds 
which is the payment verification. Instead of a window coming out where you had to fill out some verification code from your bank, it will just go ahead and process it automatically. So if you have any cards like that, definitely make sure to use those. Try to avoid 3DS cards as much as possible. So in my profiles right now, I only use catch-alls. The Spot doesn't care about catch-alls or emails. They don't care about your name, your address. They don't care if you buy stuff from the same card multiple times. It's honestly the easiest profile setup out of every single site. One thing that I have been doing lately is using the same phone number for every single profile. Originally, I wasn't doing this. I was randomly generating phone numbers, but since Usapod now added SMS verification a few drops ago, I kind of don't want to be caught off guard. So instead, I'm just keeping my phone number for every single profile just in case they do implement the SMS verification again. And for my address, I don't jig my address at all. Mostly because like I said, they do not care if you buy multiples off the same address or all the other information. And one last thing about our profiles, the best thing I found out by Valor is you can edit anything in your task without having to stop it. If you do have all your tasks with one profile and it's getting declined, go ahead and switch out that profile. And now for our final thing, let's talk about our task and how to set up. So I've had Valor for about five months. One of the main things about Valor is you want to keep it quality over quantity. Now Valor can handle a lot of tasks. I think they recommend 2000 at the max. But what I found is when you run a lot less across two copies, it seems to work a lot better. And that's one of the main reasons why they gave us two instances. So if you have two devices, make sure that you split your task across both Valor copies, just so you can allocate resources to each one of them. So my last two drops, which was the foam runners and the easy slides, I think I was running about 1800 tasks per copy. And even though I was hitting, I feel like if I dropped the task count by like 500 per copy, I think I would hit a lot more. Now I can't confirm that from my setup, but just looking at some of the other successful setups, I've seen some people run 600 tasks per copy and they hit like 20 plus pairs of slides so just keep that in mind whenever you're deciding on how many tasks to run now this is not related to my setup but this is just a tip that i wanted to show you guys for when you create tasks if you didn't know you could put decimal values in your task quantity so usually with most bots you can only do two profiles but with valid you could actually do 2.5 and it'll create tasks like that so just a tip for you guys to make it easier as for my profile to task ratio, I have 32 profiles for Yeezy Supply. Usually on average, I'm running about 3,000 plus tasks. So I don't really have a set ratio and you really don't need a set ratio or multiple profiles actually. But the main reason why I use multiple profiles is because if one card gets declined, I wanna have multiple backups. I'd rather not rely on just one card to get me through the entire release. So that's pretty much all there is to my setup. It seems very basic and I am improving it as we go along. It's really nothing special, but if you have been struggling with hitting on Valor, definitely try out my setup and see how it works for you. So I appreciate you guys sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below how many pairs did you hit on the slides. And I'll see you guys in the next one.